What is going on, guys? Horror Junkies back with another one. Another one. That's right. Uh, looks like Evil Dead Rising. Evil Dead Rise. Rise. Rising. So, same thing, you know. Uh, but before we get into this trailer, because we are going to check it out. We did have a winner of the creep show figure, Mr. Joe Negron. He commented a lot, a lot. That's right. Thought we were a couple of busters. <laughs> <laughs> so we are gladly going to give this, uh, give this creep show figure to him. Um, I've already reached out to him. And it will be on its way. So, uh, also before we get into this trailer, would appreciate you guys if you would hit that thumbs up button, that subscribe button, and go and hit that notification bell. Just, just hit it like this, like that, like that. Just smash the just fucking, shit out of it. Just fucking pound it, man. That's right. So, and uh. Before we get started here, this was uh, not the video that we were expecting to announce that on, or announce the winner on, but this uh, trailer came out today, so... Yes, and we did... Plans kind of changed. We did say the next video, so... It's that video. So we was going to wait, we didn't, we was going to wait a couple of days before... <laughs> Shimon! Shimon! <laughs> We was going to wait a couple more days before we made another video, but this surprisingly came out today. And so here we are making this video here for Evil Dead. Um, right. Yes. So let's let's just go and get into this video because I'm going to get into it in I'm three, hyped. two, two, one. I'm scared. No matter how busy you ever got, you always found Your hands are so busy. I can't believe I'm never gonna speak to you again. <laughs> I, I was gonna, I was gonna say blink, bitch. I thought she was dead. Fuck still has When record. I was just a little girl, I asked my mother. What is this, Danny? I found it. Me. Oh, she's working. Don't want to take my baby. <laughs> this one happened to Paul. I think that happened to us. This evil creates terror through total chaos. It looks like there is some country setting there. Nope. Oh, hell. Not even just no. Hell no. Oh, hell no. She's like floating over water and shit. I mean, she wanted to get hurt. I'm getting this out of here. You'd be a good mom someday, honey, but us. Oh, you know? Yeah. You know how to lie to kids. <laughs> Mom? Mommy's with the maggots now. Maggots. <laughs> Pretty fucking creepy. <laughs> Who she thinks she is yelling at people like that? Eeny, I know. Meeny, meeny. Oh, yeah. You. Oh, she done switched this to the eeny, meeny, miny. You. Hell yeah. <laughs> Mama, no. <laughs> so, I like the way it looks. Uh, it's definitely got some creepy shit going on. Um, I definitely like that. Um, the book looks 
quite a bit bigger than and it has teeth from the last for some reason i actually think it looks really cool though um hopefully this is going to be a great movie and they just didn't give all the spoilers See, away here's right here's here's, here's my one of my things i'm not liking about the trailer i feel like i just watched the whole movie you know and that's possible um from what I could tell, Bruce Campbell has something to do with this. He's uh, an executive producer along with Sam Raimi on let, this movie. Let's hope his influential shit just doesn't fuck this movie up. You know what I mean? Just because I'm not the biggest Bruce Campbell fan at all. I think whoever edited this tra- trailer together needs to be fired. Because <laughs> they be showing too much. Yeah, I, I do believe that they may have went out of their way to put way too much in this trailer. Um, You know, when we got, let's say the last one we did was Megan. When we got that trailer, they didn't really put, they put some creepy things in there, but not a lot. You know what I mean? It was, it was more of how the story was going to go in the movie. Um, And they really didn't put no, no kills in the trailer. No, they didn't. Um, so let's just hope. Let's really, really hope that they they ain't gonna ruin this movie with what they've already put out. And they're gonna put about put out more. Trailers. Oh, the, yeah. I mean, they've already is, shown too much. This is set for April, so you damn you you already know they're gonna put out another trailer. And they've already shown too much. Um, I feel. As a matter of fact, there are there is two different trailers already. If you go on to YouTube, you've already seen two different trailers. Mm-hmm. And there's like two different versions of the Red Band trailer. Yes. Which is weird. Um, so already, right off the bat, day one, two different trailers. Uh, they, Plus, they both lead into the same trailer. But one shows more than the other one does. So, and not only is there two red band trailers, there's also a regular trailer. Right? How do you put out three trailers in one day? They must that's have got, been bored. It's got to be a fucking record, you know. I, I, I don't understand. You know, the fans they wanted a trailer. They definitely wanted a trailer. But the fans didn't ask for you to ruin. The movie. The fucking movie. I feel, I literally feel like I just watched it. Right. Like, there's, there's way too much, you know, and me and you have said this about trailers before. They put too much out. The le, the, the less that I see of a horror movie and it just becomes a surprise to me. Like, for instance, one movie we haven't reviewed yet that we're going to review after this this mm-hmm. this video here is X. I knew nothing about this movie. Nothing. Went into it so blind. Hadn't even seen a trailer. And it was fucking great. Oh boy. Did you just fart? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sneezed. Um, like I said, hadn't even seen a trailer. And went into it and came out of it so mind blown, you know, um, loved it. So to me, the less you put out, the better, you know, if you put out just a little snippet of a trailer, just to give a people an idea of what to expect, that goes a, 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 a way further than putting out three different trailers in one day. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's this this part of the movie experience is getting absolutely ridiculous today because you know, like Halloween ends, they they started out good with trailers because they were just doing little TV spots, giving you a minute, thirty seconds here, thirty seconds there, you know, um, and it was great because. You and each time you got just a little bit more. 
And that was it. Until the final trailer came out. Until the movie came out. And half the scenes you saw in the trailer weren't even in the fucking movie. Yes, that was, you know... Uh, but that's that, enough about Halloween ends because we talk about that movie way too fucking much. We do, we do. Hey, if you haven't uh, noticed, we're still upset. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just hope. We already know what's going to happen. They're going to put out more trailers, and they're going to put more in it, and more in it, and more in it, more in it. If they've already put out three, there's going to be more. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think that okay, they put out three the first day, they're done. But no. we know that's not going to happen. See, if they would have left that part of the trailer that said where she was all creepy and said mommy's with the maggots, left that shit out of the trailer and just let us experience that right. when watching the movie, that shit would have been so creepy. But now that we know that that's in the movie, it's it's not going to have the same effect. Just like the eeny, meeny, leave shit like that out of the trailer. Those are parts of a movie that you should experience in the theater without seeing them on a trailer you should not see that stuff you know what i mean and and yes we're a channel we're gonna we're gonna do trailers um but don't put the best parts of the movie in the trailer because i can already tell you that bathtub scene was the shit oh that fucking that scene where she had headphones on and shit that bitch was crawling out the vent shit Leave it out of the trailer. Yes. Because I mean, that would have been amazing to watch. It would have been. now we're going to know what happens. Right. So. Another thing we got, to, or at least I want to talk about it. They're, they had such a big opportunity. I don't know if she didn't want to come back for it or what. There is such a big missed opportunity with not this movie not being a sequel to Evil Dead 2013. Yes. I don't know if Jane Levy wouldn't come back as Mia or what happened, but huge fucking missed opportunity because that is by far the best Evil Dead movie. And unfortunately, I, I still believe that that's probably going to be the, the fact after this movie too. Mm -hmm. I do believe that they've taken this movie to a whole new level, but I don't know if it's going to be the level that the first remake was. It's going to be hard to top that. For me and you, that was a really good movie. That was probably my 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 most favorite Evil Dead movie. Um, it was today. definitely my favorite one. So, the fact that they've already went far and beyond to already probably ruin this movie, which is, it sucks because honestly, this movie looks good. But if We've already seen most of the movie in this trailer, then you know. And how does that even work? The, the trailer's only a minute and like 11 seconds long, and I feel like I watched the entire movie. How the yeah. fuck does that work? Yeah, it's dude, it's it's time and time again they keep doing it, you know, and it's sad because we're the ones that go to the theater and half you know, the good spots of this movie are probably ruined. Because they just had to throw it in the trailer. I don't know if they do this to get people to go see it. They just take these really good parts and they, they oh, let's pop this in the trailer because it'll make people go see it. But if you put the best parts in the trailer of the whole movie, then people are going to come out unsatisfied and pissed off because you th you've already ruined it. You know? Uh, and that's it's a shame. It really is. Let's hope that that's not all to this movie. And let's hope that it's going to be a really good experience watching it. I don't know at this point. And that's not us saying that it's not going to be a good movie. It could be a good movie. But there's also, now, there's not going to be that, that shock factor. Right. Or scenes that'll shock, like genuinely shock you or make you go, oh, that was fucking awesome because we've already fucking seen them. When I see that bathtub scene in the theater, I'm still going to like it. Right. I would have liked it more had I experienced it firsthand in the theater versus already knowing it's in the trailer and I already had seen it, you know? Um, so, I mean, it's just little things like that. I, I'm not saying I'm not going to like this movie and I'm not saying that it's going to be terrible. What I'm saying is keep those little wow factors 
until the movie comes out. Don't throw every little bitty great piece of a movie into the trailer and ruin it because that's what most people do. And it's, it's, it's terrible. It's backwards. It's unnatural. And it's got to be stopped. Oh yes. Yeah. So that's going to be this video on evil dead rise. Um, definitely appreciate you guys supporting this channel. Love you guys for it. Until next time, this is Horror Junkies, and we're out.